So, with the recent announcement that Bleach is ending, I just wanted to make a video on whether or not the series is going to be able to have a good ending. I am joined by... Zeno Z Snake, what's up guys? Yeah, a link to his channel, we is a Christian. Tons of great Bleach content, definitely go check him out. If you like what you're seeing, you should subscribe, obviously. But, did you think this theory can end in, any, in anything remotely well good? <laughs> I, I think, but five chapters i'm not too sure about that because it just seems like it seems too rushed and that's really and there's too many things that won't be addressed let's be real yeah it, that's just really my worst fear is that they're gonna rush now i don't know the situation i don't know if kubo is just fed up with jump or jumps realizing that you're not sewing as well as you used to kubo so we're we're, we're gonna and it's like this final arc of yours has been way and it's like almost as long as the final naruto it's longer actually i think than the final naruto arc yeah it's been going on four years it started 2012 and i think did it did it not did it before great ninja war started in 2012 i could be wrong it may have, I'm not too sure. On it started, it, but there's only like a year difference. Like, this could possibly be longer than that fourth great ninja war. Yeah, possibly. Uh, Kubo said that he wanted it to be longer than the uh, Aronkar arc, and I believe it's already done that by now. If not, if not, I I guess, you, you know, authors can take back what they say sometimes. No, he may also not have a say. Jump may if he's saying, Kubo, please be done. Oh, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I'm afraid of, is that Jump is pushing him to finish it. I'm hoping they're not, and he actually is, knows what he's doing, and he just... Well, if you know what he's doing, he's an idiot. I'm sorry. Yeah, kind of. I think I honestly think Jump is pushing him to... Probably. The leftist, why don't we go over, just for the viewers, the list of things that need to happen. Fallbringers? Yeah. Then there's, the of course, Yuha. Like, there's just the idea of killing Yuha is, like, five chapters in and of itself. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of relating this to Naruto. They beat Kaguya in one volume, which is, like, ten chapters. True, but Kaguya wasn't really... Yeah, that was that was a basic... That was just, like, bullcrap on its own. Yeah, but that was also... Okay, that also Kaguya was powerful, but Naruto and Sasuke were on their tier. Yeah. The Ichigo is not. Yeah, anyway, Ichigo. It's like Naruto and Sasuke, all they needed was for Sakura to distract Kaguya, and they could defeat her. Naruto, in this situation, somebody distracting Yuha, you could distract him, leave him wide open, and Ichigo wouldn't be able to beat him. Yeah, it like, the power gap is much bigger, so this is much more troublesome. Like, at least the way they won in Naruto was like, I believed it. Yeah, de definitely someone's gonna have to show up now. I think... Who? Uh, Who could show up and be... Uh, I Aizen. Aizen. I don't think I think can do it. I think you are... I don't think I think it'd be you, huh? But, I think Aizen, Ichigo, uh, Kenpachi... Kisuke, but the thing is, is that Kisuke, we don't know if he's alive or dead... Kimpachi is severely wounded from using his Bankai, which is, was not complete yet. And yeah, which is also, I want to point out, the first Bankai to ever get actually modify somebody's body, which I've always found very interesting. Yeah, and we don't get too much of it, because it seems like his Bankai isn't complete. That's one thing that yeah, we Yeah, like, does he, does he give it a name? I don't think it has a name. Uh, it does. I can't remember. I know that his Zanpakuto is actually his lieutenant. Yeah, he's done by Toe and Zuzu Mushi, right? Yeah. I, I believe that. Something like that. Yeah, about that. But, I mean, it just. I'm concerned because Yuha. I'm mainly concerned because of not last chapter, but the chapter before that, like what he did to the Bong guy. He's that cool. is why I'm concerned. Kubo has built him up to be this OP character that... And is... now he has Ichigo's power. Yeah, I mean, he didn't even need Ichigo's powers. Like, if he wanted to, he could just destroy Ichigo right there. I mean, he was toying with Ichigo the whole time. <laughs> it was literally like he had such the power. You have to be like, yeah, this is how fucked it you are. Yeah, I'm worried Kubo is going to pull kind of like a full bring, like... Oh, you were beating me just like last chapter or last episode, but now that I've got these new powers, all of a sudden. I've had a story for you. for a while. I've... You're I'm going to hate this. You're going to hate this idea. 
What if there's something, a third evolution of Bazaba Toe that no one has ever discovered before? I mean, that would be pretty cool. That would be, that would kind of be better than, well. It'd be, it'd make more sense than Mugetsu. I know that for sure. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> we could just shoehorn in there at last minute because like, he did the same thing with Aizen. He made Aizen too powerful. Yeah, I mean. He does not learn from his mistakes. Yeah, I, I don't know how Fubo is going to do this. Now, the the rumor about, like, five or six chapters, it, or fact, whatever you want to call That's it. That's not confirmed. It's, yeah, it's not confirmed. Because it could easily be a longer volume. Yeah, hopefully. I'm hoping that. I'm hoping, like, 10, 15. But that still doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would be definitely safe if it was, like, 20 or 25. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I remember a thing with Tekken, who threw out there the idea, who were out the that I heard it at least, was it being 700, like a homage to Naruto, and it's also the same reason that Kijimoto had, like it's a nice solid number, you know what I mean? Yeah, also another thing is Kubo may be trolling us, because I remember in the latest chapter, the colored page, it was complete black where the number was supposed to be of how many chapters were left. So Kubo may be trolling us, and he may be like, oh, there's actually 50 more chapters left. I don't think so. No, but I I'm pretty sure it was a Juvecha announcement. I know, but I'm just hoping. I'm well, just... I don't think I don't, I don't think Juvecha would allow that. Yeah. I, I'm... That, I would, that could probably just some legal issues, like with, like, false advertising. Well, yeah. I, I just I hope that doesn't happen, honestly. I, Although I... he's not probably... The jump would maybe, like, if, he, if he did that jump, there'd also the rest of the jump would be like, oh, you're ending in a five chapter? Congratulations, good job. <laughs> yeah, I like, mean. Like, we'll, we'll expect to, like end, like, end our contract in five chapters, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I can't see it ending in five chapters. Like, five chapters is. I, I'm just trying to think, at this point, I'm just like, how would you Ichigo do? How can Ichigo feasibly defeat Yuha, going on the assumption that this is going to end, like, yeah. Like a, like, a, like a shonen manga should end. With yeah. the main character versus final bit, which I don't think Ichigo can do it. And that's my theory that like a third evolution is right. Yeah, that would be cool. Now, I this is kind of like a just some dire desire I have that at the end of the manga, I'm just hoping that they will announce the anime to come back. But that's one thing I want to bring up is that it's the chances unlikely. of the anime coming back, they're very slim now. No, I'm just hoping that they'll bring it back, like they'll have an announcement at the end of the manga, but that's most likely not going to happen. That's just yeah, my, I had a theory originally that, that what happened was Naruto was doing better in terms of manga sales, so they wanted to end Naruto on a high note and make it perfect. So they're like, and once Naruto ends, then we'll bring Black Fleet. But considering Naruto isn't ending anytime soon, I no longer think that's true. Well, I mean, if you look at it, Jump hasn't really treated Kubo that much right anymore now that the series doesn't sell like it does. Cause yeah, I think it's, it's, all about, it's all about sales. If you can continuously make money, if you're like Oda, Kiki, Oda, Kiki, Togashi, and Toriyama, they yeah. make them so much money, they can do whatever they want. They have, yeah, uh, they have more power than, than, than Jump. Yeah, because Kubo, like, used to, he could get away with basically a lot of stuff. He could get away with a lot of stuff. He could still get away with a lot. I mean, Bear breasted the Taki, I mean. Yeah, I know. Like, I don't know how he got away with that. <laughs> I don't even, like, I, I, if, if he can get away with that, I'm surprised I, I haven't seen Nami naked yet <laughs> in One Piece. Uh, yeah, I know. If he can get away with it, Oda can. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Oda could probably get away with it. No, if, if, if Kubo can get away with it, considering how badly Bleak was doing. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I don't understand, I honestly, I don't understand why that Bleach lost its popularity, well, I do actually. Yeah, but full, but full arc. Yes, but like, I don't. Understand. I don't understand why they thought canceling the anime would help. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's what I was about to say. You took Like, about I, if this animated. arc was animated. Yeah. I mean, the animation was actually really good in the full ring arc, if you think about it. If they kept that up, and the, the actual the Thousand Year Blood War arc actually has a good storyline. Yeah, I mean, I can so understand the full ring arc, but this arc is so good. 
I mean, the there is some cool crap in this arc, but yeah. it's still a good arc. I mean, it's like great. like the main character not even being qualified at this point to be called the main character. <laughs> yeah, I know that that is one <laughs> that is because one. he's never here. Yeah, well, he is in the recent chapters, but he's a it's, punching bag. <laughs> it's like I'm not gonna show up. For like, well, they're like, what? Almost most of the four years that this arc has been running, he's barely in it. Yeah. He shows up, he fights Yuha, and he gets his ass handed to him, and I'm like, we're ending in five weeks? Yeah, no, it's like, it's like Ishigo was like, yo, I got a new Bankai, and Yuha was like, no, you don't, bitch. <laughs> I asked, if you, if you look at the panel, like, this is why I'm worried. If you look at the panel, Kubo reused the same panel, but he just erased the Bankai. Like, he, he's so strong, he didn't even need to draw Ichigo Bankai getting broken. <laughs> That's funny. I did not notice that, honestly. I heard about that, but, like, I... If you, if you pay attention, to, it's really, if you in the that same position, you would see his eyes are just looking at the sword. Wow. It's honestly... like, he did it before Ichigo could even move, it's like... Are we even get to? Are we even gonna, We can't even see what the Bankai does now. And can Ichigo even get a new Bankai after the battle's over? Uh, yeah, he can, but it it won't be as powerful. No, wait, is it is it Nimaya dead? Um, say that again. Is it Nimaya dead? I could be wrong. I don't. Oh, oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, I don't Nimaya's know. the guy that forged the Zanpakuto, yes, uh, no, and I'm pretty sure he died. Yeah, I think. I mean, we never actually got to see that because it was off brain fight. fight. Off. It was cut off. Yeah, cut off like like half the other damn fights in this fucking theory. <laughs> yeah, I know it was cut off. The only actual um. Where was uh, Ichigo? Was a uh, new ha versus uh, Jinbei? Not Jinbei. Ichibei. Ichibei. I always get him and Jinbei for one. <laughs> Good. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. That's the look alike too, which is the which is the weird part. Yeah. Honestly, that was the only one of Squad Zero who actually got showed being taken down. The other ones were cut off, if I'm yeah. correct. Yeah, they were. I think we got to see a little bit of Nimaya, but I mean, I'm just I'm con I'm concerned because I'm looking at it and I'm like, I want to see Ichigo have the final fight. Yeah, that's what I want to too. I mean, do you think he'll need Mugetsu again? And could that be it? No, I think he'll I think he'll need his father Ishin. I think Ishin. This is a theory that I've been theorizing for maybe like mm, four or five chapters ago. Is that Ishin and Ryukin are going to show up? Which Ryukin is Uryu's father. In case anybody yeah. doesn't know, in the video who's watching this video, but I think both of them are going to show up. But now that it seems like there's only going to be five or six more chapters left, which is not confirmed. I don't think that's going to happen. Now, it could still happen if we have more time and more chapters, but I can't see it now. No, I do have, I, I you did just give me a theory. Remember how Rookie and Wendy showed up? Yeah, I don't think they're going to do it. No, anything. listen, and you know how Ichigo had this brain complex with Rukia that's like, you saved my family, therefore you are not allowed to die? Yeah. Like, it's like this great obsession is like, since she stayed to death one time. No, like, he needs to protect her, like, for, like, ever, because he, he protected his family. Well, yeah, I mean... You, 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 we all know he had, like, a strange hero complex because of that. Yeah, I know. So what if Ichigo... What if, what if Yuha kills Rukia? Oh, gosh. Ichigo would be mad. <laughs> no, and what if he... And what if he, and what if he, if he brings up the fact you could never return back favor? Like, this is freaking, Yuha would probably do that. He, like, this is Kubo, he probably had Yuha yeah. say something like, you, like, she yeah. saved your family, and, that would be you, so and you let her die. Yo, that would, that would be good. But, that would be and, good. And, like, if it wasn't for her, your sister would, your sister, they'd be dead. And you let her die, because Kubo you're did. weak. If Kubo did that, because Kubo's not Hiro Mashima, we know Rukia wouldn't come back. No, but we also know Ichigo. Maybe, and then maybe through some bullshit power up. Yeah, but. Or, or he may. Uh, just so also, people know. Hey, just also, so people don't attack me for being a parry fan. I mean, his um, his uh, hollow powers were taken away. I forgot about that. Yeah, okay, his hollow powers are gone. His hollow powers are gone. His quincy power. We're never gonna get to see those now. Yeah, no, it's like it's like um, full bring powers. 
if he still has those. He should because those those can't be aren't those biological. Um, not no, he actually good. had to work for his. If you remember, he had a, he had a. No, train. but I mean they're a they're like a they're actually part they're not just part of him. They're like they're like an arm. They're like a biological thing because it was like it was kind of like a disease. You know what I mean? Because well, he, he got them because his mother was attacked during pregnancy. Well, like, it it sounds more like I don't know if those could be taken away. He wasn't born with them though. No, but he he was born with the ability would be a to would be ability to unlock them. Well, because remember, all fullbringers get the fullbring from their mother being attacked while they, by a hollow while they're pregnant. Mm. So he always he could have unlocked that at any age at any point in time. True, true. I guess uh, it's not like you had to pass. It's not like you were given though by Ginjo or Ginjo. Yeah, Ginjo didn't give it to him, but he. From what I remember, he trained to get them. Yeah, he had to train to unlock them. Yeah. Just like he did with his Shinigami powers. True. But the point, though, is that the full ring powers aren't enough. They're, 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 those things are barely enough to take on Ginyo. Yeah, I know. I mean, his fuck you up. powers are probably not even enough either, so that basically... That leaves him with nothing, honestly. I mean, and a big thing, the big thing was that Ichigo... Well, then again, wasn't it stated that Ichigo had ridiculous Soul Reaper powers? Yes, he had a ridiculous Reishi, or not Reishi. No, I mean, I mean remember, did he didn't, you uh, or did, quote-unquote here, unquote, I'm making air quote right now, Von Gesto say he was restricting Ichigo's power? Yeah, he actually was. He was He was holding it back. So maybe now it all, maybe, maybe he would still, maybe he continued to do it. It's just an idea. Well. Maybe but... now that Don, Don Gesto is gone, remember that. Don Gesto is not in him. Maybe he can meet his true Don Pato spirit now. He's already met his um true his true. No, but he's a true true Don. Like the spirit of it, just his the the spirit that come from only his soul reaper power. Because if the hollow is the spirit of his Don Pato, that means that all of his powers are gone. The hollow is his spirit of his Don Pato. Wait, did that mean he lost his soul reaper power? Maybe. Maybe. Shit, Kubo! <laughs> but I do God remember. Damn it! I do remember in in um the chapters where it was talking about that. The reason why he has two swords. One of those is the the Zangetsu we all know, and the other one is is his actual Zanpakuto. And he fused both of them, and then he put his Quincy powers in there, <laughs> and that got taken. And then his Bronkai got broken, and then his powers got taken from it. So I think all his powers are gone. The well, only thing he possibly had left is Fulbright. Oh gosh. It's you go, so how could he even fight? I don't know. Th this well, I actually, there is one thing you could. Now this is like borderline bullshit. This is like the most preposterous bullshit ever. <laughs> what if we. <laughs> this is like the last thing you're gonna think I'm fucking a retarded. But at this point, I'm like, you know what? It's probably going to be a retarded method to beating Yuha. What if he gets someone else? What if somebody else gave them their power? Hit that. What if somebody else gave their power to Ichigo again? I would hate that so much because that was the main reason I hated the Full Ring arc was because they gave him the, his powers. I hated that. So what if what if what if uh, Ichin gave his power to Ichigo? That would still make me bad. Cause like, uh, like the same way Rukio did. Like, lo like giving up his power. Uh, no, I never liked that. Actually, no, wait, if he gave up the power, he would die. Wouldn't he? No, he wouldn't, but I, I don't, I still like, like I said, that was one of the reasons why I didn't like the full bring arc. I never liked how Ichigo got his power in the first place. Cause I, I, I never even understood it. <laughs> Well, basically... Like, so they all put some of their power, but not as much as Rukia did, into a sword. They rammed it into Ichigo's chest without hurting him because... Bleach. And then he got his old powers back. Not the power from not their power, but his power. Yeah. I never understood that part. <laughs> And like I would be now one of the whole points was that Ichigo was using Rukia's power. That's why he had a different kind his Zanpakuto was a little bit different. You know what I mean? His Zanpakuto, if you think about it, it was a little bit different after he got his powers back. It was more like curved. 
Yeah, it, it, it was his own thought about though. Before that, that was just, that was pretty much a normal story. Just on steroids. It was a normal story, but it was only bigger because of the amount of power he had. Yeah, but the one after, like... The one after was more allied to him. In fact, there are some people that even said if he had gone to his inner world, he technically, he probably would not have even met Zongetsu. He probably would have met Sodeo Shionyuki. Right? Theoretically. He, he wasn't using his own power. I have a theory. Maybe we'll get a Don Guy Ichigo again. Like maybe like if we get more chapters, if Ishin shows up or something like that, maybe Ichigo will have another another chance because Don Guy Ichigo is the Ichigo that fought Aizen before Mugetsu. True, but I think Ichigo surpassed that form. Maybe. Right. But if you think about it, Ichigo was more like he was more laid back in that form and more confident in that form. I'm just thinking he knew he could be that. True, but when but when he feel the same way, anyways, would you watch? I know you watch is a little bit or stronger than Eisen. I think you all could probably pretty easily beat that Eisen. I don't think he's, I I think you he has the power with the god. True, I do that not. That is thing that could happen. Ichigo like Rinji and Rukia could stall time, and Ichigo could absorb the rest of the Soul King. Wait, 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 wait. What is this stalling? What is this time? The Yuhan just could just change it. Like, I have done the door for power of the chain. Now do I not absorb the power of the Soul King because I changed it? Hmm. I mean, this is the problem. Like, let's say, okay, let's say you're right. Right, okay? Let's say they start stalling him. He would just be like, oh. I see. They're going to stall me, and then he's going to absorb the Soul King. Okay, so what I want to happen is, I want them, I'll take you two out, and now I want, and now I'm going to cut each go chest open instead. That's what's going to happen now. Because I'm rewriting it. Well, if you think about it, he he technically, he can rewrite it, but he, he has to like manually do that or something like that because no, but are you implying that Renji and Rukia can hold off fucking you up? No, not at all. <laughs> like that's the point. It's like they don't. It's like maybe if you brought in every single Bleak character ever, and maybe they could hold them off longer. I mean, the guy, he's a god. Yeah. I mean, like, could I didn't even hypnotize him? Uh. Maybe just maybe. And like, but couldn't he? But wouldn't he see that I they were about to hypnotize him? So into the future, so then he can just change it so it doesn't happen. But if you think about it, Eisen acknowledges or not Eisen. Well, Eisen does too. But Yuha Watch acknowledges Eisen as a threat because he's one of the five powers. Yeah, Nishin. but the, what is Ichigo one of them? Yeah, it, Ichigo <laughs> and Ichigo is not a threat. <laughs> Yeah, well, the reason why he had Ichigo, it was Ichigo, I think it was Ichigo for his wits, Aizen for his spiritual pressure, or Reishi, um, Kenpachi for his strength. And Urahara uh, for his fucking brain. Yeah, and Jinbei, I think it was Jinbei for like, uh, Ichibei. I can't remember, or, sorry, yeah, you can only confuse Ichibei for, I forgot what Ichibei was for, but. Ichibei was just for being a member of the Zero fucking Quad. <laughs> No, it was something else. He said, uh, for, like, all his, uh, it was something. I don't remember what it was. I don't know, for his name, but it just, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe, okay, what do you think to the idea of him being unable to do it? Um. Of uh, this thing, a theory of the main character fail? I, I mean, I would kind of be mad and upset, but. Because that's not the formula Kubo have been using. Yes, but in the same way, the way it's looking, it's going to be bullcrap if Ichigo wins. I mean... I mean, and even with help, I would still, to some degree, call bullshit. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's... I it's know. like, I mean, maybe if you had all 13 captains helping. Not all the 13 captains are alive. <laughs> That's the problem. I mean, maybe the Fullbringer? Could they do something? I don't no. know. No, wait, no, wait, no. no, wait, wait, hold on. Tsukashima. Is he dead? Tsukishima? Is he still alive? I he's, forgot. I think he, he's alive, I think. Couldn't he counter you, uh, your watching ability by changing his memories? Like, he could change the memories of what he would remember. Nuha would see the future, memorizing what he sees, and then changing it, right? 
Yes, but I don't think... So couldn't he chain Yuha, cut, all he needs to do is cut Yuha, and then couldn't he chain the memories of the future that Yuha was seeing? He probably could, but I don't think Kubo is going to do that because, well, a lot of... And then maybe you could dis disable that ability, and then Ichigo would have somewhat of a chance if he got, like, a power-up. Yeah, but if a full bringer helped, helped beat you watch. People would be mad because you watch. At this point, I don't think anyone would give a shit as long as we beat them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> as, as long as it makes sense. Yeah. And also, there are also other things like we're gonna we're gonna have to get like an epilogue or something. Yeah, I saw a comment in a For Never World video about this about the Bleach manga ending in five or six chapters. Somebody said a Bleach Gaiden. Featuring Bochigo. <laughs> you get it? That sounds so retarded. Well, so was... retarded, Bochigo, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> I thought that was funny. No, no, but I'm being legit here. Like, we're going to eat some kind of. I'm not saying like a Naruto 10 years in the future. I fucked this person. I fucked this. No, I. I do want to see that though, honestly. No, I do. I do too, but I, but I don't want the whole chapter to be focused on it. But the point is, we are, one of those chapters has to be dedicated to the aftermath of it. And honestly, I would say more. Because in Naruto's case, the fourth great ninja war didn't dad do a lot of damage to the actual planet. You know what I mean? Yeah. The uh, soul of the deity has been transformed into the bonding rite. And, and you watch is on his way to the world of the living right now. Which... I have I have a wait I I have a do of Ethereum what's going to happen with it. I think Caddy may fight him. At least attempt to. The people have been acting for solely for Caddy for years. So I'm just like, you what fuck it. <laughs> Maybe, but also if you remember Aizen, when Ichigo defeated Aizen, Aizen was actually in Karakura Town in the world of the living. So this may be No, weren't they in the Soul Society? Like wasn't that they, they whenever they moved, kind of, they were, that was fake Katakura Town, and they were fought in, in the world of the living. I then went to the real one, which is the Soul Society, dude, they moved it. Yeah, but still, the core, kind of core town where the actual people were, I mean. True. And also, another thing, but you watch is going to the real world of the living, so. Wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, he is. That is he after you doing catting? I just fucking realized that. Is he after them? I think he may be after you doing Kaiden. You're the only Quincy in Latin. Oh, crap. I just realized that. He may be after you doing Kaiden. He probably is because if you think about it. Like, what else would he. I hear people saying, what does he want in the real world? Like, what does he gain? Well, he wants to destroy everything. He no, but besides that, he, he probably wants to be like, hey, you want to join me or do you want to die? He may do that. He, but what's the use now? Because he just said in the latest chapter he has no need for anybody. If I'm correct, he has. He, yeah, he, he has, probably he, dude. He probably wants to do. He obviously enjoys fucking with Ichigo. <laughs> yeah, I know he does. He's probably like I'll every go main. After, I will go after his sister, his two sisters, just to fuck with this guy. Yeah, I know. Like I just, just, uh, just to know, but I didn't never ask him what answer you to Ikadi. I know, but I didn't troll Ichigo. He, he no, but I can picture you hobby and like, hey, look, I'm gonna kill your sister. Yo, you know what would be terrible if he actually did? If he killed any of that, if he killed anyone, he killed fucking you too, like, I swear to God, I, I guarantee you. The you, the candy did that thing go a little popular. There was one, yeah, that would be cool, but, or, that would actually be bad. <laughs> I don't know why that would be cool, but there was one thing you said earlier about, like, the, um, aftermath. I kind of want to see that, maybe not a full chapter, but just a little bit. Now, honestly, Cadding Soulie for I I I I demand a story for Cadding. I demand it. <laughs> yeah, you know that that would be pretty cool. Some would people be... even during the full break arc said she's going to become the new main character of Bleak. Now I maybe now I know there's no there's not going to be a lot of shipping or stuff like that. It's there's gonna... going to be an end pairing. Well, there is probably, but there's not gonna be. It's not gonna be too much considering it's a shonen. But who do you think's gonna end up with who? Uh, personal opinion or who I think. Personal opinion and who you think. Uh, think probably Orihime, but who I want, Urukiya. Okay. Well, because 
mainly just for the reason that or he made it more obvious and Kubo hadn't really spent too much time on it. He kind of like set that up just to kind of like all set it up. Then when it happened, nobody can complain. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I, I'm, and then, but the thing with Rugen, I feel like it's better because they're both soul reapers. You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, in my personal opinion and who I think he'll end up with, is it's just Orihime. They're both Orihime because Honestly, it makes more sense because they're actually the same age. And True, um, but you know what? Fuck. But you know they're what? They're just, you're just saying. I mean, I see more. You're, under, you're not the kind of fan business that there is in this fandom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Yakuda and Rookie. The Yakuda and Rookie of the Yakuda. Ichigo. I'm pretty sure. Yamamoto and Ichigo. I mean, this stuff gets fucked up. One thing I do want to say though is if Ichigo in did and like get with Rukia, that would that would be it would be weird because if you think about it, Rukia is old. She doesn't look old, but she is like two at least. True, old. but you know what? I feel like I've Ichigo always felt, only I've always felt that Ichigo going to end Ichigo. I, one Ichigo is technically a, a full fledged soul reaper. He's technically dead. Technically, but technically not because he has a body. His and body, but his body is technically a gay guy at this point. No, his but his body isn't deceased. No, it's no, technically it is. Think about it. Well, his soul chain got cut. True. He became a hollow. His soul chain got cut. I I never thought of that before. The minute that happened, he died. Like. He, he technically should be dead. There's, I'm honestly, I feel like his body just because he went back in it, I guess, quickly um, enough. Even so, even so, though. I think maybe because he became a soul reaper that, like, negated it, but technically he died. His uh, age doesn't change. Though. He also, he also can't go back to the world of the living. Another reason. Oh, yeah, that is. You gotta, like, you gotta admit to that. He can't, he's not, like, he's not supposed to be able to go back. But he... But his friends got passes to go, and you know Ishigo, he's probably going to break that rule because there's been several times... Well, no, because if it, if they would put people in danger, I don't think he would. Well, that is true. But maybe and, he... and, that, and doesn't that kind of imply Orihime would be... In, like, it, could Orihime really withstand being around Ishigo's spiritual pressure? I mean, she has the latest chapters. And your point? Do you also somehow withstand the you hot? <laughs> I mean, really, let's be honest, this theory doesn't make any sense anymore, because just, Yuha is a lot, it, Yuha is a walking disaster, let's be honest. Yeah, you... We already know how he, you know, I know how he's gonna be, I know how he's gonna beat Yuha. He'll Ow. probably beat him with an attack and hold the, I know he's an attack line. I can change my fate, even if you can see it. If you think about it, I know Ichigo's uh, powers have been stolen. But Ichigo had Quincy powers, and maybe he still has a little bit left, and we actually haven't seen a lot of his Quincy powers, so maybe, uh... Maybe, maybe, maybe he'll, maybe he'll, maybe the five chapter will be him trying to figure out how to use them, and then the last chapter will finish off you. <laughs> yeah, but if you think about it, maybe Ichigo's Quincy powers is absorbing, like, other powers, or maybe, like, maybe he'll absorb... Ichigo. Wait, hold on. Is there a possible here? Is it possible? Just an idea. Could he possibly have a script? Script or whatever. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Maybe his script is the power to take other people. Had there been, a, had there been an X? Yeah, like a ceiling? I don't think so. Maybe. And there are two. And, there, and, we, and thanks to earlier, we got in confirmation there can be two of the same letter, right? Yeah. Well, did you have count? Because there are two A's. I don't know if Yuha counts. If he does, then yes, but if then, he... then that means there could be Ichigo could be like the S, the stealing, and he can like steal or or the A for the absorbing, like maybe I I don't know, but his Quincy powers have been taken away, so I doubt that would happen. Honestly, it's it's gonna be hard to know what Kubo's gonna do, and it's it's gonna be hard not to make this look like bullcrap. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how do you think it going to like not how we, not logically, but how do you just putting all logic aside, like how do you unfortunately see it ending? I um, I honestly, in this case, 
I'm not looking for the best, and I'm I'm hoping that the worst doesn't come. So I'm about fifty fifty. Like I'm hoping. I mean, we're all hoping for a good ending. But we're, we're at this point. We've kind of we're starting to accept it. Like yeah, at least with Naruto, I had some hope it was gonna be good. Yeah. But with this, I mean, we had Naruto, but different with Naruto, I want to point out, is Naruto was clearly at its climax. Yeah. Like, Naruto had the steady build-up, it was Kichimoto's choice that was clear, you know what I mean? Yes. Kichimoto, like, the Naruto and Sake fight, well, it could have been longer, and it was probably longer than the anime, was a decent, it had everything we needed, it had the, you know, had the proper elements in it, but they had the pairing where we're all... It resolved everything. Everything was resolved. And it didn't seem like bullshit. Well, 700 is debatable, but that's not the, the point. The point is, is that this is... We, we got that announcement when we knew. It was like, we knew. Naruto was the sake pairing. That was it. Now it's like... What this, gonna this, this, it's don't like, know what's going to happen. It's not like we're... It's not like Ichigo and Yuha are even. That was the thing with Naruto and sake. They were even in power... So it was literally all we needed was to actually start beating the shit out of each other. With this, it's like, we need to figure out how to kill him, and then we need to try to kill him. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I think we can, I think these five chapters to be dedicated to planning how to kill Nuha. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when it comes down to it... I, 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 I actually noticed the rushing in the last chapter, 680. Didn't you notice it? Yeah, I noticed it. Like, what, what was his name? What was the giant's name? I forgot his name. The Miracle? The Miracle, yeah, I forgot his name, but he got taken out, like, off screen, like, so easily. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if it's true that there's only gonna be, like, five or six more chapters left, I don't see it ending great. I don't. I mean, th it's still gonna be my favorite series regardless, but... I, it just you never know, a bad ending can do a lot. I doubt it because if a bad ending happens, I'm just going to kind of, you know, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm going to forget this whole arc and I'm just going to go rewatch the anime and just remember, like, I don't know, for some reason I go back to Bleach and I watch it and I'm like, this is why it was my favorite. This well, I, I, I do feel, I mean, I'll tell you how I think it's going to end. I think it's just going to end with Ichigo going against the logic of the series. He going to override all of Yuha's ability, and he's just going to win. And that, I wouldn't be surprised if Ichigo punched Yuha, if he beat him with his fucking fist at this point. Yeah. Just because I have no faith. I, 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 it's not that I don't have faith in Kubo, it's that I don't have faith in it being physically possible. It, it being theoretically possible. Yeah, but who knows? We may be wrong, and our low expectations are just, you know, wrong, and Kubo actually does a good job. Well, well the, the only way I can see that is if my theory was correct, and Ichigo has unlocked, like, a third evolution of a Don Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like, like, that, like, Don Kai. Like, maybe he actually unlocked an actual Don Kai. Yeah, I, I don't... Like, Shikai, Bon Kai, and something, and another Kai. Yeah, I don't, I don't see... I don't see it any good, but if it does... See, if that happens, then you could just say this form is so... This evolution is such a step above Bankai that if you could explain... Maybe it, like, restores the Bankai and it, like, triples and it multiplies its power by, like, 250. Yeah. yeah. But the problem is... And then if Ichigo gets the power up, he's probably gonna... He's probably going to did not dominate Yuha. I don't know anymore, than you? No, I, I don't know anymore either. We could probably end it. You know how long we've been going? Yeah, we could we could be spec. I could be speculating for like two hours about this. Yeah, I mean, but uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> any last thoughts you have? I I mean, I just hope it ends great, honestly, yeah. because it's my favorite series. But if we're talking real, it's probably not gonna happen. It's yeah, probably I will be live reacting to the last five chapters. I would have started doing this, like, a month ago if I had known. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I thought that was just a Naruto thing, but I'm going to... So, yeah, guys, definitely check out my live reaction to the last five chapters. If we're saying that, to the yeah. last five chapters of Bleach. Uh, but above all else, 
We hope you got. We both hope you obviously have a great day. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Tell us your thoughts on where you think this will go in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe for more. Check out uh, Dino the Snake. Link to his channel in the description. Peace. Peace.